here and um, I would like to ask you one simple question. What do you think when you hear sustainability? It is really important to understand. Please uh, like uh, answer in the chat. It's really exciting to see what people think, especially architects, when they hear word sustainability, just like few associations or like uh, uh, waste or actually like ability to perform for a long time. There are different ways to understand sustainability. I'd like to know what is your attitude? You're welcome. Everyone is so silent. <laughs> Disaster recovery. Okay, thank you for the first comment. <laughs> Andre is our leader, the first to join, the first to comment. Cost effectiveness and reliability. Uh, mindful about resources consumed by solution. Wow, it's so close to our topic. Okay, clicks. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Uh, so um, you are really powerful guys when we are talking about IT solutions. You are the ones who are foreseeing the whole architecture, the whole main features of the solution. So you are the ones who can embed sustainability into the products we sell to our clients. And it is really, really important. Uh, so uh, what I am going to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to talk about sustainability um, as a concept. Uh, I'm going to talk about sustainable business and um, actually why is it important for us to think about sustainability also from the business side not only from the side of um, like a human who understand that life is uh, like vulnerable enough but also from the business perspective and uh, what it gives to us and to our clients if we embed sustainability into our IT solutions. Um, why it is important to understand that sustainability is uh, uh, both a system and a journey and uh, finally I will talk about some hints on how to embed sustainability into IT solutions. I wouldn't give you um, the, the recipe, there is no single one recipe for all solutions and everything like that uh, and I believe that you are really proficient uh, to uh, find creative ways how to use and how to embed those sustainability principles on your own. Uh, so my role is just to show you that journey and to welcome you to that journey. Uh, so sustainability is about uh, fulfilling uh, the needs of humanity today without hindering ability of future generations to fulfill their own needs. Uh, sustainability itself is a kind of system. It's not only about environment. It's not only about environment and people. It's also about economy. So as you see, uh, this is a system of uh, global sustainable goals uh, offered by the UN in 2015. And um, it is a system of uh, environmental, social and economic goals together with cooperation, partnership for the future and for the achievement of those goals and peace and justice. Uh, why it is important? Of course, environment would strive if there is no economy and even better, no humanity at all. But it doesn't work like that. We are people and we understand that people should feel themselves good enough and in order to feel good enough people need work and people need resources and uh, still we wouldn't feel 
good if we are live in offline environment. So we have to take care about environment, about people and about economy to bring uh, abilities, to bring money. And uh, finally, if we do not cooperate and if there is no peace and justice, as we see, uh, there is no way for sustainability to be achieved. And uh, what is also important, we have to understand and we have to bear in mind that sustainability is always systemic. Uh, let me give you one example. Uh, onshore wind and offshore wind actually is the same. Uh, we consider building the uh, onshore wind factory. Uh, it's cool for SDG, like Sustainable Development Goal number 13, climate action. But if we put this factory in the wrong place, we hinder uh, wildlife. Why? Because uh, birds usually rely on wind. And if there is a migration route on the way, or like this factory is built on the way of migration route, it's going to hinder the whole ecosystem in several regions of the world, or probably uh, if those migration uh, routes are really, really important, it might hinder ecosystems all around the world. Other, um, like the other example, uh, we are removing all the factories from the region. It's huge, but we are adding tourism. It might be even worse for environment than like having that factory. On the other hand, removing everything will leave people without work and they are migrating to other region which might be more vulnerable even from like compared to the other one. And it might bring worse consequences. So if we are talking about sustainability, we are talking about systemic approach and systemic analysis of consequences that are brought by some decision or some product or anything we consider to create or to do. From business perspective, it is also important to embed sustainability. Uh, actually, sustainable business is a new trend. More and more companies are joining this movement, uh, especially IT sector is like uh, leaders, uh, is uh, leading that uh, route. Uh, Google, Hewlett Packard, Cisco are constantly uh, rewarded and considered as uh, like the best examples of sustainable businesses. Uh, Google has already reached uh, net zero carbon emissions and they would like to become like 24-7 sustainable, uh, like uh, carbon free business. Uh, so their goals are much uh, more elaborated than the goals of average sustainable companies. Uh, the other uh, cool example is B Corp. It's not like a company itself. It's like a union of companies who share the same values. And it's also a cool example of uh, like small, medium sized businesses, which are united um, around the idea of sustainability and the requirements to join them are really top tier ones. Uh, so if you would like to more, just read B, about B Corp and their requirements and you will know just a lot about sustainable business. And what is even more important that um, sustainable business always takes, takes care about their supply chains. Uh, therefore, uh, like SoftServe, uh, going through the uh, uh, agreement periods with uh, uh, our clients has to show our efforts in regards of sustainability because sustainable business care that the whole supply chain share their values. So sustainability is spreading around the world. Uh, what is the value of sustainability for a business except of the uh, like huge role in the future of humanity? It is also 
value of the product a comp and company you represent. Uh, if your company or product is sustainable, it gives you opportunities for growth. Uh, it is also more reliable for future investments and brings you uh, better returns on capital. And um, it also embeds less risks because sustainable business um, implies that you are managing your risks in a better way. And sometimes you just uh, don't have those risks the other companies have. Um, what else is important? Reputational benefits, uh, new markets, cool portfolio, and also ability to create new products and to innovate. Uh, as uh, I have already mentioned that supply chain management is a key uh, point of uh, sustainable business. Uh, so there are like market requirements which are important and uh, companies make their clients, their suppliers. It is easier to work with suppliers rather than clients, but they make their uh, like other businesses around them think about and consider sustainability. But also legislators and regulators do care about this as well. Uh, so the leader there is of course the uh, European Union. Uh, European Union has adopted EU green deals quite many years ago and has developed a lot of regulations and um, like profound legislation around. So uh, first of all, they started with financial services sector and um, like all business needs money. So if you regulate financial sector, everyone is going to be bound by those regulations at some point of time without no exceptions. If you want money, show us your sustainability. Uh, secondly, they have come up with uh, corporate sustainability uh, reporting directive. So they are uh, obliged companies uh, like in five, uh, seven, eight, ten years to show their sustainability performance. Um, there is the same kind of uh, movement in the US, but on the lower speed. But we can assume that both the EU and US companies and afterwards also um, companies from Japan and that part of the world will be interested in sustainability as much as possible. So we could be the first mover there and offer our products uh, with sustainable features. Uh, Softserve as a company has uh, also sustainability strategy and uh, we have uh, like four main 10 years goals to be achieved by 2032. Those are carbon neutrality for us as a company and net zero waste. Uh, I hope you've taken part in, in the uh, um, good taste zero waste months. Um, and also I hope that you enjoy sustainable offices because uh, like new offices are certified and have good performance. And finally, why like the most important goal from my point of view and uh, the most uh, relied on you is sustainable IT solutions. There are two ways to treat those sustainable IT solutions and to understand them. Uh, first is like, what does that solution do? Uh, for example, solutions for uh, solar panels are, of course, sustainable because they bring value in that point of view. But Softserve is not a product company, so we can go that way, like, simply. We can offer, we can offer our clients, let's, like, would you like to migrate your database uh, for, like, a bank? Oh, don't do that. Let's make, like, a T solution for solar panels. And uh, like, why, <laughs> guys, it's funny. No, there is another way. You can, we could embed sustainable features into each and every solution we offer. And uh, like, I can do that without you. It is really important that uh, you consider 
those options you can use to make solutions more sustainable. So, uh, and like about journey. Uh, sustainability is about not doing something harmful and not doing something harmful is about sustainable consumption, reducing emissions and waste, like achieving carbon neutrality, but it's not enough. Sustainability is also about the second part of doing something good. And uh, by doing something good, I mean that our products may help achieving sustainable development goals. Um, like, for example, in the field of healthcare or environmentally related IT solutions, we do have those kinds of solutions. Uh, but like we don't have direct pathways to uh, parse you and to uh, like boost those. Uh, ways so we can add sustainable sustainable features to our products and we could advocate sustainability and here like the ball comes to you you could be those advocates of sustainability you can add sustainable features you can promote those sustainable features you can talk with the clients and offer them considering those sustainable features and you already understand the value of sustainability and also the positive outcomes of adding sustainability um, to each and every product and to like make the portfolio look better, make the company perform better thanks to your product. Finally, uh, let's come to the core of this session. Um, what does sustainable IT solution mean? It means that it meets the needs of uh, the client, the customer, or final user in some case, uh, like without hindering um, abilities of uh, society and future generations uh, to have access to resources and to meet their needs. Uh, in reality, there are several principles uh, uh, which constitute the core of the sustainability. Uh, first of all, this it's about clean code, like really straightforward, but the cleaner code, the better performance. Uh, secondly, solution should be long standing and it should uh, be working for at least 10 years. Uh, because if uh, uh, it's like short term solution, you will need to invest additional resources. Uh, you will have to use additional resources to make a new one. So the cleaner and the more long-standing solution, the, it is more sustainable. Secondly, it should be energy and carbon efficient. Uh, what actually does it mean? It means that software takes responsibility for electricity it consumes, and it is architected to consume as little as possible. Uh, secondly, uh, the software should minimize the amount of carbon emitted per unit of work. Um, for example, if you were making software for some manufacturing, uh, you can consider and uh, like, carbon um, factors of electricity supplied at the place where this machinery is installed. For example, it is usually at night time that electricity is uh, less uh, carbonized. So you are making it that way that the more energy consuming processes are shifted to the night time. As simply as easy as it might be, but still it is really efficient. Uh, secondly, hardware efficiency and network efficiency uh, is, are, is also important. Um, the better we use hardware, the less resources it consumes. Uh, the less uh, 
data is migrating. The shorter distance it travels across the network, the better. Uh, next, energy proportional and carbon aware. Uh, energy proportional, what does it actually mean? Uh, so maximization of energy efficiency of hardware means energy proportionality. Uh, carbon proportionality is about like embedding uh, the timing and um, uh, it's like um, very close to carbon efficiency and uh, carbon awareness. Like you can be carbon efficient if you don't consider the carbon footprint. First, you consider carbon footprint, and then you think how to make it uh, less emitting. And uh, like we have already talked about network efficiency. So those are the core features. Um, if you have any questions, uh, like I am open, you can like turn on your mic or like type it into the chat, uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, as an example, we can consider programming languages. Uh, have you ever thought that the choice of programming languages might have a huge impact of, on carbon performance of the uh, final product? Uh, so here you can see um, the uh, comparison of uh, energy efficiency of each um, programming language. For example, if we choose like C++, it is going to be a more energy efficient product uh, rather than we use Python or Ruby. Uh, I will share the presentation so you will have an opportunity to look through the programming languages. And in case you have uh, like freedom to choose, uh, consider those numbers, please. And uh, finally, like, uh, like slender things that still have impact, um, refer to design. So uh, the simpler design, the less resources consumption. If you use uh, white font and simple colors, uh, sorry, white background, uh, like usual colors, uh, classic fonts um, with a few pictures and uh, without videos, the better it is going to be from the energy efficiency perspective. And finally, yes, you do consider hosting services. So, from the point of view of network efficiency, hosting servers is really important, not only from the distance, but also from the way uh, this hosting service is being uh, powered. Uh, if you choose the hosting server powered by green energy, it is going to be much better rather than uh, like standard one. So we have a question. Are there any measures, benchmarks on how to evaluate if we are more or less energy proportional? Um, this is actually a good question without clear answer. Why? Uh, because uh, this is something new. And uh, there are no metrics and benchmarking available on the market. Therefore, th that's why it is so cool to start thinking about it. It is so cool to start doing that. Uh, you can compare, for example, if you um, don't embed any energy efficiency in your product, how it is going to be. Uh, we can make like the first test drive together, for example. Uh, we can consider like Gen general energy consumption with uh, grid electricity uh, compared, for example, to uh, more energy proportional solution, which consumes, for example, electricity during the night time and 
we can count that, we can calculate that. So uh, if you need our assistance, we are available. And to the extent we can help, we can do that to show your clients what is the value. Uh, unfortunately, it is not that much elaborated yet, but uh, on the other hand, it gives us opportunity to be the first ones to adopt. Um, so what are the advantages of uh, such kind of IT solutions and products? Um, they are more cost effective. Uh, they are more efficient. And they have extended use period. And of course, they bring additional marketing and reputational advantages uh, together with a great portfolio for our clients. Thank you for your attention. And in case uh, you have any questions, like feel free to ask. Uh, and I see one more question. Uh, looking over the last five, 10 years, we can see that, for example, mobile apps are getting fatter, websites are getting heavier, requiring more memory and processing power to load. It doesn't look like it's a sustainable trend at all. Definitely, it doesn't look uh, so, uh, but if we are looking on Google, which is like, I believe, the most popular website, uh, they are not getting fatter. They still have that white background. Uh, maybe the only thing they are adding, which is not really energy efficient, are doodles. Uh, but on the other hand, um, I love to take Google as an example. Um, they are doing good work there. Yes, a lot of calculations, sure. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we should uh, apply systemic approach. Uh, if we are removing all the features that we need, we are going to have the product that doesn't work. It, it's not a good case, but in case we can choose or we can find a smart way, we should use that smart way to remove additional unnecessary stuff. In case of AWS, it is one of the pillars of the well architecture framework civil for other providers. The big players are already playing the sustainability car. Yes, yes, they yes, they do. And the Microsoft also is doing a lot there. And uh, I'm trying to read their materials on sustainable uh, programming. I do not understand everything to tell you the truth, but um, sometimes they share some information, but it's not like a mainstream yet. So um, you can find a university course uh, about sustainable architecture yet. I hope that you found at least some hints that could be used in your work. And I wish you really good luck there. And in case you need any assistance, um, you need any calculation in regards of like carbon footprint or um, in that field, we can help you. Um, Yeah, the, the, there is like a meaningful comment for people who understand <laughs> and not that uh, I do understand that it's like a lot of memory, but but, but not really um, like I, I understand principles, but it's hard for me to work with details uh, in regards of for like memories and programming, but um, in regards of emissions, it's more about me. <laughs> Um, so thank you very much. And uh, me and my team are always uh, open for communication. And uh, if you would like to um, start with one project, we can assist you.